Well, I think it's been a validation of how important digital video is for any uh, strategy, uh, whether you're a publisher or an advertiser going forward. Um, and it's a market that's uh, you know, been evolving, um, but I think last year really hit a point of scale and uh, you know, from a strategic perspective, uh, companies in the space decided uh, it was time to make uh, large acquisitions because it's so important to their strategy going forward uh, to, make, uh, to make some bets. And I think you started to see that last year and interesting how these things often happen in clusters uh, falling like dominoes um, where you had a number of very large acquisitions happen back to back to back. So it was clear that you had a number of buyers who were thinking about the same thing at the same time. You're just going to really see more and more about viewability and fraud, whether it's the breakout sessions that you've seen here at IAB or even Integral Ad Science last night was talking about it specifically at their their event. I mean, I think that that's, that's where it lands in 2015 is publishers need to have the intelligence to understand what impressions are viewable and fraudulent traffic just isn't going to work for the networks anymore. I think in 2015, native will be still big, video will be bigger and it will be definitely a mobile year. I think mobile is a huge uh, component trying to figure out how you can do mobile well. Our audience is 70% mobile. Right? Sports fans are consuming things on their phones and their tablets. Uh, and so the question that, that I think we have is just how do I provide a impactful brand advertising experience where I'm not you know making the consumer angry right by putting ads in front of them or blocking content but uh, give them a desktop experience where the brand says, yes, that's impactful. Like I've now have brand engagement and brand lift. It's not a little 320 by 50 ad that's not going to do it. And that's where, you know, pre-roll comes in. I think advertisers want to reach people on mobile. When you're on your phone, you are fully consumed. You're not switching tabs like you do on desktop. And so I think pre-roll on mobile, you really do get a huge impact as a brand advertiser. I think it's getting more interesting. I think there's a lot of um, ad spend that's going into the connected TV realm, hopefully this year, um, focusing heavy on mobile. I know everybody says that this is the year of mobile. I think this actually is the year of mobile, um, particularly mobile video. Um, and I think video is just, you know, just starting to get its footing. I think it's expanding and it's improving. and. You know, there's a lot there's a lot of exciting things coming down the pipeline for video, I think. So cross device for publishers is gonna become more and more important because of the way that people are actually using their content and how they're engaging with their content on different devices. Um, you look at HTML5 or responsive websites as they try and take their content and push it to mobile. It's a completely different environment than what you see on the desktop and even the experience is going to be completely different for the user. I mean, it's interesting what, in terms of thinking about what's next because I think actually we're still quite siloed. I still, like, take CRM as an example, right? CRM within the ad tech space, it still sits over here and it drives maybe email marketing, but it's not fully integrated into the advertising side of things. And I think where marketing automation and advertising automation come together and therefore the, the data piece of it is not just the data we have about the, the user in that particular advertising space, but everything we know about that particular user from a CRM perspective and bringing those together is where a huge, and then suddenly you're buying across all screens, across all channels. That's the real, but getting that to happen is a long way away, I think.